What's going on YouTube? This is NecroStevo and today we have a singles battle against one of my subscribers that has been following my channels for a long time and that's Sarah aka Liguha. Uh, I will be leaving a link to her Twitter in the description. Major shout outs to her as, as she's just been commenting on my video for so long and so I really wanted to battle her. Um, and I think she's in the middle of finals right now so hopefully I get a chance to battle her again soon. Uh, but I brought a little bit of a random team as I am known to do. Vivian is a nice lead just for Compound Eyes and Sleep Powder and Hurricane. Has a higher chance of hitting moves. And then of course just throw a Focus Sash on there so you could take a couple of hits. Uh, she does, I'm able to put Clefable to sweep as she switches into a zoom roll and gets confused by the Hurricane. And she actually hits herself in confusion. So seeing that damage from a zoom roll hitting itself in confusion tells me that it's probably banded. Um, and so I didn't want to go for a counter right then just because I figured she'd switch. And she actually does switch out into her Umbreon, which is a little annoying because I don't... I had Diancy, but it's not uh, Mega Evolved yet. And I don't want to bring it in and have it get toxic or something. And so I'd rather have Gastrodon toxic. And I figured if she had Heal Bell, she would reveal it here. Uh, so I'm able to toxic her and then the Synchronize bounces it back onto me as well. And she doesn't use Heal Bell. She just switches out and goes directly out into her own zoom roll again now that it's no longer confused. I was crossing my fingers hoping for the burn right there and I don't get it. And that toxic damage is really starting to rack up. Uh, now that she's not confused, I don't really want to switch out into anything. And I am surprised by my ability to actually take a bandit play rough from the zoom roll. And I'm able to finish it off with the counter, but the toxic takes me down. And so we have one of those classic delicious double down situations that KOC really tries to uh, make a little bit of money off of. Um, this video, of course, is not sponsored by KFC, nor have I ever eaten a double down, but they are the best types of downs. Now, as she goes out into Clefable on the double down, I went out into Arcanine because it's a nice fast option and I have priority. Um, I get a critical hit on the first Flare Blitz, which really didn't matter. I guess it gives me an opportunity to go for Morning Sun to get some of that HP back. But since she just hits me with um, Moon Blast to get a little bit of damage off, it kind of puts me in the same, I guess maybe I would have had more recoil if I had just hit two flare bullets. I don't know. It's it's kind of hard to say. I don't think it's going to end up mattering. Uh, she goes out into her Mega Manectric here, and I was really tempted to go for a flare blitz, but I was afraid she would Mega Evolve, Volt Switch, and go back out into something to take that. And I really wanted to put some damage on it before it left the battlefield. So I did predict the Volt Switch correctly and I was able to put a really good amount of damage on there with a minus one extreme speed. Um, and she does go out into Gliscor, which Gliscor would not have taken very much damage at all from the Flare Bullets. As you see right here, just at minus one, it, that damage is just so not impressive at all. And I take myself out with the recoil from Life Orb and Flare Bullets, thinking that she would just go for Earthquake, but she actually sets up her Stealth Rock, so I definitely could have gone for Morning Sun right there and done a little bit more damage. Glasgow generally can't do anything to Shaman um, unless it carries Acrobatics and Fling, which is really unpopular now, uh, especially with the loss of Flying Gem and that type of stuff. Acrobatics isn't as popular as it used to be. And I figured if she switched into Umbreon, maybe I can get the special defense drop on it and make it a 2 8 KO from that range. Unfortunately, I do not get a drop on Umbreon at all. He's just kind of able to eat up all these hits from Shaman. And um, I get a drop on it after two attacks with Seed Flare. But at that point, she's going to be able to wish and get all that HP back. And again, this whole time, she was not showing me Heal Bell. So I thought she was stuck being toxic. And maybe that last move uh, was her own toxic attack or something like that. So I'm deciding to go out into Diancy here, knowing that she's probably going to protect to get that wish. And this finally gives me an opportunity to safely Mega Evolve. Get a nice speed boost to uh, Mega Diancy speed and also um, the offensive stats. So... With that, not only can I threaten her Gliscor and her her Umbreon, to a lesser extent the Manectric if it doesn't have any uh, hidden power ground or anything like that. And she actually just goes out into her uh, Excadrill. And I hit it with the Moonblast and from that damage I couldn't tell if it was Assault Vested or Scarfed. So I didn't want to take any chances if it were Scarfed and it locked itself into Iron Head. I knew Shaman could handle that and so I just went right out into Shaman. And Iron Head it may be a 2-hit KO, it's kind of hard to tell from that range, uh, especially after Leftovers. 
and mana max damage. Just so many factors to take into account. I just went for Earth Power thinking she would stay in and try to go for the 2 hit KO. Uh, and she decides to just play it safe and bring back an Umbreon, which is annoying. I, if I had gone for Seed Flare there, I definitely could have KO, 2 hit KO'd it from that range with two Seed Flares, even without the special defense drop. Uh, but we're going to go for Seed Flare again now, trying to get the drop. I do not. And she's going to be able to wish and protect and all that stuff. Figuring that she would expect me to go on to Diancie, I'm just going to stay in here and go for a rest. Uh, if I thought she was, I thought she was just going to go for protect. So I just go for my rest, and she actually doesn't go for protect. And then here is where she shows me Heal Bell, and I was just like, "You had that this whole time, and didn't use it." And which was the only reason why I didn't just try to attack right there or anything. I thought that that last move that she had wasn't very useful for her, like Toxic or something, but with that she was able to get all that HP back and heal the Toxic, so now Umbreon is in a really good position. Um, I switch out as she, uh, I switch out of course, Shaman has natural cures so the rest will be healed when I switch out. And I go into Diancie here expecting to protect from the Wish, it gives me an opportunity for a free call mind, which I will happily take because this Notch the Umbreon is just trolling my team, it will not die. So we will need to set up a little bit before we're able to take it out. Uh, now I do have Earth Power on Diancie, and I figured I actually might be able to take an Earthquake from Excadrill. Uh, if she brings it in, the way since she brought in uh, Gliscor first, I figured maybe it is not Scarfed. So we're gonna stay in here, and it is not Scarfed, it is Assault Vested, and because of that, she is able to take a plus one Earth Power, which I was just astounded by. I was, I did not expect her to be able to take that hit. But that's okay because my secondary win condition is a Choice Scarfed Crocodile. Shout out to those of you who've watched Gurren Lagann. Um, this is a Moxie one, of course, because that's that's how Team Nigurin runs. You have to have a lot of overconfidence, as the Japanese version of Moxie is called. Uh, and the Moxie, of course, is going to block. Basically, it's going to negate the Intimidate, as now I'm back at neutral attack instead of being at plus one. And I'm Scarfed, so I will outspeed any modest Mega Manectric, which I think that was a modest one. And I'm a Jolly uh, Crocodile. And so now we have to face Notch with plus one Earthquakes. Foul play is actually almost a two-hit KO, which is a little bit scary that my own Crocodile has that much attack coming against it. But that's not going to be too bad, as I am able to finish it off with Secondary Earthquake. Um, so thanks a lot again, Sarah, for the excellent battle, and thank you. Sarah and the rest of you guys who comment so much, Lexiden and and Trainer Connor, and just all you guys who I see commenting all the time, I really appreciate you watching my videos. And if you comment all the time and I haven't battled you and you want to battle me, do what Sarah did. Come find me on Twitter, come find me on Skype. We, we can battle as much as I have time for. I'd be really, really happy to do so. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this upload and I will talk to you all later. Bye bye now.